This is a video <coughs> going to be about uh, frequent questions asked all the time. Did one of these before, but it was more uh, about firearms related only. Uh, this is going to be about everything in general. But uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, I need to thank somebody. Where do you see this? Um, his channel name is DCHPG, all capitals. And uh, he had a shirt made for me, and I got to show it. Everyone knows I'm a I'm a huge Flyers fan. I love ice ho professional ice hockey, and uh, I love the Flyers since I was a kid. And uh, they just, you know, remind me when I was a kid because they won Stanley Cups back to back, you know. And I'm hope hopefully it'll get back to that again. And someone made me had this shirt made for me it's an old-fashioned like kind of like a 19 you know like an old like a 1960s looking hockey shirt you know what I mean it just looks old-fashioned it's very cool it looks grainy and all it's real soft um, it's very very nice and this is the cool thing about it I'll show you this side on the back it has Check that out. For the name, it has Colt 1911, and on the bottom, as you see, has a dot .45, like 45 caliber. Yeah, that's very, very creative. I never would have thought of that, and uh, this is this is beautiful. Uh, I love it. I'm afraid to wear it. I think I'm going to hang it in my gun room for a while. But I want to thank my man for that. Uh, I PM'd him a couple times, I couldn't thank him enough, and I just had to show it on the video to show my appreciation. I mean, the guy actually got the shirt and then went down and had that stuff ironed on for me. I mean, <clears throat> you know, that, that's unbelievable, okay? That is unbelievable. So thank you very much, dude. I will wear that shirt a lot. <laughs> Trust me. Um, so yeah, I'm always wearing flyer shirts. All right. <laughs> Let's get to the first question. Well, first of all, there's my two guns I'm into right now. Is my new Rock Island Armory officer size. It's very beautiful. I can't wait to get that thing to the range so it proves itself and then I can carry it. I'll probably carry that more than anything. Uh, well, I'll get to that later. And there's my other uh, cowboy gun, the Ruger Vaquero. I always say Vaquero with an R. Someone corrected me. It's V, 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 V. Rugo Vaquero with the uh, crucifix on it from 310 to Yuma. It's supposed to look like the hand of God. Except that's stainless. Uh, that probably would look very, very good on a Beretta Blued Stampede, too. Or a Rugo Vaquero Blued. Who knows? If I get one of them, I'll probably get the same grips again. And uh, put them on that also. Maybe in silver. You know what I mean? Anyway. All right, I got a I got a top ten list here. I mean, I'm not going to do a lot because it gets boring. Uh, all right, first thing on the list is I get asked more than anything. These are people that are new to YouTube. They're they're new to YouTube. I mean, not just to the gun channel. YouTube period, and they don't know what certain terms mean. Um, some people don't even know what LOL means because they're new to the computer, uh, you know, the computer industry. So. <clears throat> Uh, YouTube is a bittersweet thing, uh, if, so we're gonna get at we're gonna get this out of the way first. Uh, for the most part, it's good, and the topic will be trolls. Um, I get them. Everyone get anyone, even people that don't have a real successful channel has an occasional troll. It might be somebody you had an argument with, so they want it, they want payback. And they make up a troll channel and just harass you all the time. You might get one of them. Then it might be someone you used to be friends with. And um, they get very jealous of you because their channel didn't really make it. And your channel is thriving. So they can't stand it. So they become a troll. Uh, that's that's what I'm going through now. Uh, you know, The guy's constantly attacking my channel. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It, it's It's normal. Uh, people say ignore them. I have a hard time ignoring them because, you know, I'm immature. 
You know, I'm gonna say, hey, fuck you too. You know, I'm a big, I'm a big baby. Hold on. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I'm constantly getting interrupted all the time. I got a big family. I got kids, and you know, it's just. Ugh, I should just turn all the phones off all the time. I don't have a, you know, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, so when I get interrupted on a video, I get all fucked up. Because I get into a groove, and once the groove gets stopped, I get it furious. So, that's my fault. I should have turned the phone off. And I still didn't turn the phone off. Did I? Let me turn this off. Uh, yeah, getting back to trolls, I don't know what the hell, hell I left off, because I had to give someone directions with a map and everything. So I'm all fucked up. Uh, yeah, my channel, you know, as of right now, it's it's being attacked big time, you know, pretty much every day. But, uh, like I say, you, you know, a lot of people say just ignore them and they'll go away and all that. I, I do most of the time, but sometimes, like I said, I'm very immature and I'll go over there and say nasty things back to them. Um, it kind of gets you a little more irritated. When, when the person's trolling you that used to be a friend of yours, like if it's a stranger, it don't even really bother you. It just like gets you mad for a f split second and you block them and it's over. But when it's someone that you were friends with and that you, uh, you were getting involved with and someone that you, you know, had in your house and they're trolling you every day, it's really fucked up. So the only thing I'm wishing for is I'm wishing for a little threat or something like that because if that happens, uh, he's going to be a sorry person. All right, I already got somebody looking into this, a very professional person, and uh, my bros helping me. Thank you. Uh, remember, I got a lot of information off uh, certain people, and uh, if you have a YouTube channel and you become a partner, that is a business. You are considering, you are considered a working person. Okay, now when you get to the magnitude of like 10,000 subs, it's just a little part-time thing. And when you get to the magnitude when you're leaning on 20,000 subs, it's a little more than part-time. It's more of a job. So that means it's your income for your family. Now when someone endangers your income for your family, which I got professional advice from somebody, uh, you can sue them because they're infringing on your family's income. So this is what's going down. The guy went a little bit too far. And now uh, I'm going to show everything the guy's doing. And I'm um, bringing papers to this guy. And uh, hopefully this guy will get served with some papers in the mail. Because my family is uh, pretty well off. And we have the muscle to do this stupid shit. That's what I call it. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can uh, get this guy once and for all. Uh, if not, you know, if there's nothing serious or there's nothing I really can do, then you just you just keep blocking these people. You know what I mean? I'm I'm saying this experience for you guys too. That your if your channel's starting to accelerate, if you got like six thousand subs, eight thousand subs, you're starting to go into that direction where you're going to be a partner and start making money for your family. Uh, you don't need some asshole troll, some jealous asshole, trying to sabotage your channel and bring your channel down because what he is doing. Is taking income from your family and that's something I would never do I wouldn't do that to my worst troll I wouldn't try to get his channel keep reporting him and trying to get his channel taken down and, and take money from him especially now times of now uh, the economy is atrocious uh, in my line of work as a welder uh, there is no jobs anywhere there really isn't and I don't know if I could do it anyway because with this rheumatoid arthritis I have I don't know if I could do welding anymore so that's the deal. So I'm done with the troll talk. That's the first thing. That was way too long. I only want to spend a couple minutes on it. But I like to let you guys know what's going on. And uh, that's what's going on. Alright. How do you buy your guns? This is the second question. Uh, I'll show you. This is how I buy my guns. Because YouTube is now a business for me. That helps. You know, the Google. Uh, the money I make from YouTube from uh, you guys and all it's awesome it's not much but believe me it, it accumulates okay and this is what I do also I get a can like this I showed you this before now this, none of this is YouTube money this is just money I make you know because you know the, 
the constant rumor that's going around with the trolls. I don't work. I don't do anything. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't work and I don't do anything. So where do you think all this comes from? I am a private contractor. I do work in South Philly a lot. And uh, what I do is, every time I make, maybe if I make 100 bucks a day, I'll get 25 of it and throw it in a can. You know what I mean? That's what I'll do. So if I'm working three days a week, or maybe two two days, maybe on the weekend, I get a couple days work, uh, I'll just keep throwing money in a can. Now this is, I've been doing this now for, uh, I'm trying to think, two months, you know, a month and a half. Look how much I filled up. Now the gun show is until April 2nd. Now April 2nd is still a good, you know, three weeks away, I think. And uh, I'll just keep throwing money in there until April 2nd rolls around. And when that's all filled up, I'll go cash that in. And uh, I'm sure I'll have, you know, a good 600 bucks in there. And when I go to the gun show, that's a decent amount of money to go to the gun show with. Uh, also, when I sell the shirts, I make a little money from that. And I put that with it. And I bring that to the gun show. You guys get a nice shirt. I get a little income from it. And uh, pay my car insurance and stuff like that. And whatever's left over goes to the gun show okay so that's how I buy my guns it's uh, you gotta be patient you gotta save your money unless you're a guy that makes really good money and you have a real good job God bless you man I envy you good for you okay but uh, I'm not all right not right now okay next question what do you do for a living I just told you so I already covered that I'm a private contractor. Uh, I just do uh, basic general home repairs, electrical, plumbing, drywall, fix ceilings, uh, roof leaks, uh, oil heating, gas heating. Uh, I don't know air conditioning too well. And as you guys all know, I am a welder also. And my dad taught me that. My dad, I'm also pretty good masonry. I'm pretty good with cement, so I do a lot of cement work here and there. And my dad was a master bricklayer. And, uh, you know, it's his background. So he taught me everything. My father. You know, he had hands of gold, that guy. He could do anything. So he transformed it to me. So when you get laid off from a job, you'll never starve because you're good with your hands. Okay? And that's uh, what I do right now. Um, yeah. Uh, let me see what else is up there. All right. Here's another one I get a lot. What should I get for my first gun? That is that is one of the most difficult answers to give because the worst thing you want to do is give someone the wrong information about a gun they should have and it's not safe. Well, I'll tell you this. I wouldn't buy a Glock for your first gun because Glocks are for professionals. I wouldn't buy a SIG for a first, like a 229 or a 226. Uh, you know, they're the ones that I know. Uh, I wouldn't buy, I wouldn't buy a, a gun that doesn't have any safeties for your first gun. Uh, if you're going to get a, a first gun for a semi-automatic, uh, I would get one of these. Let me go get it. Make sure she's clear. Okay, I'd get yourself a nice Springfield XD. It's extremely great quality. Fantastic. It's got a fantastic trigger pull. It's very smooth. Um, it's got a lot of safeties on it. Okay, it's got a, a chamber indicator. It has a trigger safety. It has a ambidextrous mag release. It has a grip safety like a 1911. It's like a 1911 and a Glock. And the way you take it down, it's like a Sig in reverse. They took ideas from everybody and perfected it. Springfield XD, and it also has a decock uh, cocking indicator if the gun's cocked. So. If you have a round in the chamber, uh, this is telling you about 10 times there's a round in the chamber. And as far as reliability and durability, the gun is doing so good. And just look at any guns and ammo magazine, they're raving about the Springfield XD. And you're getting a fantastic gun. And the beautiful thing about it is it's only 500 bucks. 500 bucks, man. Okay? So that's one I recommend that you get for your first gun. Something like that. Unless. You're going to get a revolver. Then, uh, you know, I don't know what to tell you there. Revolvers are pretty self-explanatory. They're pretty simple. Uh, if you like cowboy guns, that's great because the cowboy guns are very safe because they're single action. 
uh, single action gun if you pull the trigger the hammer will not move so that that's a, a single action revolver is a good safe gun to have in my opinion uh, a double action revolver is still safe because the trigger pulls always like 10 pounds so you know if it's in double action so that's that's all I can tell you with that man uh, what I tell you to get a 1911 not for a first gun and you don't, you don't know if you like guns or not I, I wouldn't get a 1911 because uh, not because they're not good guns, because they're a little complex. They're not very, very, very easy to strip down. They don't strip down quick like a Glock or an XD. You know, uh, the XD the way the XD is the way to go for a first gun. I mean, that's 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 what I can tell you. That's what where I would point you, if you if you're looking for a semi-auto. Okay, as far as a revolver goes, it really doesn't matter. You know, Ruger, Smith and Wesson, Colt, they make fantastic revolvers. Okay, all right. Now where the hell are we at? I'm fucking drained, man. <sighs> All right. Do people give you stuff from gun companies for free? Uh, not really. Um, the only the only stuff I get once in a while it happens. It doesn't happen all the time. Um, but when it does, uh, they're making out better than I am. You know, I get my little thing, and then I promote them, and I I leave my video up forever, and they get customers forever. So, it's a trade off. There's no money, you know. I get a little bone, you know. It'll throw me, uh, say, Ballastall, for instance. I do get Ballastall, and uh, I promote him. So, you know, you got 18,000 people looking at Ballastall, and I get a couple cans of Ballastall. That's the trade-off. Uh, no one's giving me anything for free. Uh, we're exchanging favors, okay? Yeah, you know, I'm getting a can of Ballastall for free. He's getting free advertisement in front of 18,000 people. So, it's 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 even. Okay, but I am on good terms with everyone that I do that with. The only person I really do that doing that with is Ballastall, really, and that that's really it. Uh, the guy that sent me the holster, this could be a new thing, but it's it was just that one exchange. I'm going to leave my video up, so he'll be promoted forever, and I got a holster. That's all. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Uh, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Any, does anyone give me any send me anything no that's it just just that once in a while it'll happen uh, um, oh Zohal the Israel uh, gun accessory site uh, he sent me some stuff you've seen from my AK and I promote him uh, indefinitely you know it's 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 a, and if it can exchange favor we're exchanging favors and that's right that's that's business that's the way you do it so that's the answer to that question. So him and Ballastall, that's it. That's the only real connection I got. <clears throat> um, let me see. Do, okay. What size shirts do you have left right now? Uh, I have two 2XLs two left. I have two larges left. And I have two extra larges left. That's what I have left right now. And they are black and orange. <clears throat> Next question. Is everything okay with Target Master? Everything's okay with Target Master. Uh, the, you know, the trolls are going around saying I, I, I got kicked out of there. But when I say trolls, it's one person. It's not trolls. It might be two. It looks like a whole bunch of guys, but it ain't. It's one guy making multiple accounts, making it look like it's a whole bunch of people. Okay? No, uh, everything's pretty cool with Target Master. I just, right now, I just won't buy a gun there right now. I just don't like the way they handled when that Glock was... Uh, Defective. My, I bought a Generation 4 Glock. It was defective. Um, you know, the slide wasn't locking back on an empty mag. It was stove piping. And it was jamming. So it was doing three bad things. So to me, that is a defective gun. When a gun jams here and there, it might need a little breaking in. But when it does all three things, you got a defective gun. Um, so I didn't like the way they handled it. And because I buy at least four or five guns off them a year... I think they should have handled it a little bit better with a customer like that. And I also promoted them on my channel. Yeah, I didn't have to do that either. Uh, but I'm not, I don't hate them. You know, it's not like that. We hate each other or anything. I mean, I can go in there tomorrow and buy a gun and walk out of there and be cool with everybody. Because they know, they know, they they know they were wrong. It wasn't Target Master. There was one particular person. You know, all the other guys agree with me, Okay. So they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have sent me uh, free magazines if they thought I was wrong. Put it that way. So 
I don't know. I might eventually go there again. I, I eventually cool down after a while, and, and I come around. I'm like that. I don't hold a grudge. Even to my worst enemy, I, I'll come around. You know what I mean? That's just how I am, because I'm not a rotten person. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I get angry real fast and mean and get pissed off, but I'm not a rotten person. It's just, you know, my personality. So, is everything okay with Target Master? Right now, it's just in a gray area. It's like a, it's, it's just, I just don't go there. That's all. All right. Do I answer everybody's PMs? No, I can't, I can't answer everybody's PMs. I mean, if I was out of work completely, zero work, I could sit here all day and answer PMs, but um, it's just not like that. Okay, uh, I I do the best I can. I try to I try to answer at least half the people. So if I don't get back to you, don't take it personal. You know you got to imagine the PMs I get. I mean I can clear my PMs out, and I swear to God, five minutes later, if I look at my box again, it's full again. So I just scan through all of them, and I try to pick out the most important ones. Like if someone's buying a gun for the first time, I'll try to answer it because that stuff's like important and a safety thing. So I'll try to answer stuff like that. So I, I do the best I can. That's it. Okay? That's all I can say. I don't have a secretary. I don't have... My wife doesn't do it for me. I don't have a sister that can do it for me. I don't have that, you know? Uh, maybe if my daughter was living with me, I'd let her do that, some of that. But she doesn't. <clears throat> so that's to answer that question. Next question. What will you get for your next gun? What, what do you think your next gun will be? I said, I don't know. Right now, I'm in a wild, old-style Wild West mood right now. Uh, I'm probably going to look at a uh, real short barrel, uh, 45 long colt, you know, like a 3-inch barrel with the bird head grip, something something to that nature. Or an open frame, old-time uh, Western gun, something like that, an open top, it's called. And if they don't have that, I must, might get accessories. So, I don't know. I'm like in an AR. I don't know. I'm looking for an AR, Rock Island Armory. No, Rock River Arms. Man, I get them too mixed up. But I want the M4 platform. I don't want the long. I don't want the uh, long barrel. I don't like that one. Okay. So there's your answer for that. Okay. Last question. What gun do you carry the most? Well, I carry the Glock. 27. I carry the XD sub, and usually, if I have a 1911 officer size, like the one you're looking at right there, I usually would carry that a lot too, but I need to get that to the range before I carry that. Right now, the one I carry most would be, I'd say the XD, uh, the Springfield XD 40 subcompact up there at the top. Because, um, I just, this is like my favorite little gun, that's all. I'm not... I like the Glock 27. I, but trust me, I carry the Glock 27 too a lot too. When I carry, uh, you know, that's when I carry. So that's it. Uh, as far as like, if I carry 10 times, probably eight times would be the XD40. Not because I think it's a superior gun. It's just a, it's more comfortable for me. Everybody's body shaped a different way, and the way my body shaped, which is round. Uh, the XD sub is more comfortable. I mean, I just I forget about it. I forget it's even there. It carries so well. But now that I got that new holster from Brian, uh, I probably carry my Glock 27 more because that is a really nice holster. And that's it, dudes. Uh, hope this video wasn't too boring. I'll tell you right now, it's way too long. 18 minutes. All right, see you later.